Robert James Fisher, the master of chess positional understanding. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Chess Grandmaster and today, ladies and gentlemen, we will learn from one of the best chess players in history of the game. Bobby Fischer was born on March 9, 1943 in Chicago and grew up in Brooklyn, New York. He became a global chess sensation at a young age, earning the title of Grandmaster at just 15 in 1958, making him the youngest grandmaster in the world at that time. Fischer gained worldwide fame in 1972 when he won the World Chess Championship, defeating Soviet grandmaster Boris Spassky in Iceland, a match that became one of the most historic events in chess history. Known for his positional understanding and precise play, Fischer reigned as a world champion until 1975, when he refused to defend his title. He retired from competitive chess shortly after, but remains a legendary figure due to his unique style and, of course, extraordinary talent on the board. Now, let's take a look at one of the Fisher's brilliant games that shows exactly why he was such a master of positional chess. So this game, Fisher played with the black pieces against Bjorn Donald in 1956. He was only 13 years old, unbelievable. It was in New York, Rosenwald. Let's see this game because it was just unbelievable. Night of three, Knight f6, c4, and now g6 was played by Bobby Fischer, the young one. Knight c3, bishop g7, d4, castle, bishop f4. So in this position, we already know that after e4, d6, this is called the uh, King's Indian defense, of course. But uh, Donald played a move, bishop f4. Let's see. d5, and now queen b3. Uh, overall, I think nowadays uh, white should play the move rook c1 or maybe e3, I think. Um, this should be the move, but queen b3 was played also uh, probably fine move uh, by white. d takes c4, queen takes c4 and now c6 was played by Fischer. Uh, probably he wants to bring the knight to b6 and bishop e6 and knight fd5. So looks really nice, this move c6. e4 was played and now knight bd7. Um, you know, as you can see, Chesscom says that is inaccuracy, but I'm not sure. He wants to play the move b5. Wow, b5 with queen b3 and to play the move knight a6, maybe. Um, interesting with bishop g4, but I can tell you that it's not so easy to play such moves. Now, also b4 is the threat to attack this uh, knight on c3 because the pawn on e4 will be weak. So, yeah, it's strange to play like this, but, but interesting solution by Stockfish. Uh, but of course, you know, Fischer is playing the move knight bd7, de developing this knight uh, over the board, wants maybe to play the move knight b6 with attack the queen and also to provide bishop g4 or bishop e6 for the next piece uh, to develop. So play the move rook d1, now knight b6, queen c5 was a mistake, and queen b3 maybe should, should be the move here, bishop g4, probably bishop e2, and just defend this bishop, of course the pawn on d4 uh, well uh, defended by the rook on d1, so overall, black is, you know, at least um, a little bit, uh, you know, in, in a bad position right now because these pawns on e4 and d4 are just doing a great job in the center and controlling it, you know, with these two knights and a bishop and a queen and a rook. So only castle and rook f1 and white is clearly better here. So queen c5 was played uh, by white and now bishop g4 attacking this knight. Of course, it will not be easy uh, for white, you know, to exchange this bishop and this knight with g takes f3 because there, you know, the king won g1 will be a little bit not safe, of course. So we played the move bishop g5 and this was a terrible mistake. Obviously, bishop e2, just defend this bishop, uh, this knight, of course, with the bishop. After bishop takes f3, bishop takes knight fd7, probably queen a3, uh, I don't know, e5, maybe d takes, and rook e8, 
uh, with just bishop e5. The next move should be fine for, for black. Overall, I like the, this position, uh, but of course white hasn't uh, any troubles here. But bishop g5 was played and this was a blunder. And you know, of course, it's, it's just amazing how Fischer played here in only 13 years old. Just unbelievable for me. He played with knight a4. What a brilliant move. Just sacrificing full knight. Let's understand. So, of course, attacking the queen on c5 and this knight on c3. Of course, the b2 pawn. So, knight takes a4 should be the move. But hey, he didn't play it. And why? Because knight takes c4 and now attack this queen and also this bishop. So, after, for example, I don't know, queen c2, just bishop takes a3, g takes a3, and knight takes g5. So, black has just one pawn up, this pawn on f3 is uh, hanging, and this pawn on d4, this king on e1, just absolutely winning position for black. So, of course, this is not happen. After knight a4, knight e4, if you are playing the move bishop e7, for example, just knight takes e5, bishop takes d8, and knight takes a4 probably, also rook e8 check, yeah, better one, bishop e2, and now knight takes a4, with double threats, also rook a d8, also knight takes b2, so this position looks very terrifying for white, uh, absolutely winning. So, knight a4, and he didn't take this knight, he played the move queen a3. Let's see it, knight takes e3, b takes e3 and knight takes e4 black is taking it and not afraid from bishop takes e7 let's see so bishop takes e7 attacking this queen and also the rook on f8 fisher what are you doing man he's playing with queen to b6 just saying you know what i don't need this rook on f8 i don't need it this bishop is better than my rook you can take it just Bishop takes the fate was not played in the in the game because bishop takes the fate attacking this queen on a3 after queen b3 just um, probably knight takes c3 immediately right knight takes c3 because queen takes c3 is bad uh, option because bishop b4 and this pin and black is just taking full queen um, so knight takes c3 and this position looks very bad queen takes b6 a takes b6 the pawn on a2 is hanging of course and bishop b4 you know all the black pieces are just unbelievable placed and winning position uh, as you can see so after queen b6 bishop f8 was a bad option of course don't forget that after bishop f8 bishop f8 queen c1 for example just knight takes c3 right uh, don't forget that i always have the bishop b4 um you know ideas so bishop c4 was played instead of taking the rook on f8 he played a move knight takes c3 another just unbelievable brilliant move he's sacrificing his second knight can you believe it no way the point here was after queen takes e3 just rook a8 yeah also rook f8 i think probably should should be strong enough just castle rook takes e7 you know black has one pawn up two bishops the pawn on d4 is weak rook d8 you no know, this position is just uh, winning very easy i think um so yeah Bishop c5 was played with white pieces attacking this queen and also don't forget the knight on c3 is hanging and now rook f8 check king f1 and now only move for black can you find it it's just something extraordinary i'm telling you just unbelievable move by black here only fisher or magnus can do such moves so the, the solution is Bishop e6, another brilliant move. Let's understand what is going on here. So, the bishop is under attack here, and of course the check. The rook is under attack, the queen is under attack, the knight is under attack. Let's understand. So, here, if we're taking this rook, of course, bishop takes b6, and this is a bad position. Queen b3, we double threat here, and we are losing the game. So... Bishop e6 was played by Fischer, but let's understand why. So if queen takes c3, for example, just queen takes c5, this is the point. Taking the, the bishop on c5, and after bishop e6, just taking the queen, right, winning position. After d takes c5, we're taking this queen with our bishop, so this endgame should be winning because we have one pawn up. And here, if you're taking this bishop, I have just intermediate check, queen b5 check. And now... Uh, king e1 just queen e2 checkmate over the board king g1 i have knight e2 check king f1 i g3 check king g1 queen f1 check rook takes and knight e2 
checkmate on the board as you can see these two rooks just uh, don't let king to escape from this checkmate amazing one so of course uh, bishop takes e6 is a bad option so he played in the game bishop takes b6 just take the full queen okay let's see what was the fisher ideas here bishop takes c4 check the only move here is king g1 92 check king f1 he can't go back and check you know draw like it's very uh, easy draw here three time repetition but hey fisher is going all in knight takes d4 check king g1 92 check king f1 and now knight c3 check king g1 and just taking the bishop taking the bishop attacking the queen attacking the rook as you can see black position here just amazing placed this bishop is doing great job here this bishop is fantastic here this knight is attacking also the rook also knight e2 also the pawn on a2 this rook is attacking this queen on a3 and also this rook on e8 just placed amazingly wow so let's evaluate this position we have here six pawns against four pawns and we have two bishops for one queen but we also attacking this queen and also the ro this rook on d1 so let's see what is what in the game queen b4 rook a4 a nice move here attacking this queen and also defend this bishop on c4 the point was after knight takes d1 here just queen takes c4 and this is not so easy to to win right but also winning position for black but not so easy so rook a4 attacking the queen queen going to b6 just knight takes d1 and here we have rook and two bishops and one pawn for the queen of course amazing position and winning winning position also materially right so h3 was played rook takes a2 king h2 knight f2, f2 rook e1 just takes takes you know queen d8 bishop f8 takes bishop d5 knight f3 knight e4 queen b8 just b5 h5 king g7 bishop c5 and knight g3 and they're playing bishop b4 check king d1 bishop b3 check king c1 knight e2 check king b1 knight c3 check king c1 and rook c2 checkmate on the board robert james fisher at only 13 years old beating Bjorn Donald with the black pieces in such a brilliant game sacrificing two knights and a queen unbelievable understanding of chess so ladies and gentlemen if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe my channel for more chess content we will learn a lot about positional understanding in the next video see you soon bye bye